Well, Justice Clarence Thomas won't be teaching at George Washington University Law School. He's been lecturing there for more than a decade, but an official reportedly telling the school newspaper that Thomas is, quote, unavailable. It comes after more than 11,000 people signed a petition calling for his removal from the faculty after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. Joining us now is Tamina Dabuz... Dabba Zorgi, excuse me. She's a student at GW Law School, and it's great to have you here. Um, how'd you take this news? Uh, hi, uh, Dana. Well, um, Justice Thomas has been teaching an advanced constitutional law class at GW Law School since 2011 with Professor Gregory Maggs. Uh, yesterday, Professor Maggs sent an email to the students who are enrolled in the seminar letting them know that Justice Thomas is unavailable to teach the class this upcoming fall. Um, his class is extremely popular. There's actually a lottery system to even get there. And many students were upset about it, obviously. However, this happened happens all the time. Adjunct professors, full-time professors take semesters off or even years off uh, when they're appointed to different position or even for personal reasons and research. Uh, Justice Thomas is still listed as a faculty member at, on the GW website and the seminar will continue. Okay, so yes, uh, Gregory Maggs is a co-lecturer. This was his statement. He says, unfortunately, I am writing with some sad news. Justice Thomas has informed me that he is unavailable to co-teach the seminar this fall. I know that this is disappointing. Um, there was a statement. This is a call for number two, everyone. Uh, this is a GW statement on not terminating Thomas's employment. Um, back, this is back on June 28th. Because we steadfastly support the robust exchange of ideas and deliberation, and because debate is an essential part of our university's academic and educational mission to train future's leaders, we are prepared to address the world's most urgent problems. The university will neither terminate Justice Thomas's employment nor cancel his class in response to his legal opinions. Do you think something changed, or do you think that Clarence Thomas maybe decided to part ways? Uh, campus reform um, covered the controversy last month e extensively. An undergraduate student at GW with no affiliation with the law school ran a petition calling to remove Justice Thomas because of his opinion in the Dobbs uh, case. Uh, thankfully, the law school administration uh, technically said, well, we're not going to uh, cancel his class. And they reaffirmed their commitment mm -hmm. to uh, academic integrity and freedom of expression on campus. As a law student at GW, I was very happy to hear that news because uh, the whole point of law school is be being able to engage in debate and listen to opinions that we're not comfortable with. Um, and you said that, well, his, that his Justice class was Thomas, very popular, and I wonder if you could just say, what, were, you know, what do you hear from other students? Are they upset about this, or do they think it's a good outcome? Well, yes, because although there are students that might not agree with him, having a sitting Supreme Court justice in our law school adds a lot to our credibility. A lot of my friends uh, I've talked to, uh, they have told me that although they might not like him, they would love to take his class. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure there are many law students at GW that are extremely upset about hearing that news, including myself, because I would love to take his class at some point while I'm there. And I hope that the seminar comes back next fall. Well, I hope so, too. And I thank you for joining us. And I, you obviously have a very bright future ahead. Uh, bright young woman. Thank you so much.